House of Consciousness presents Professor Larry and Brother Natural Tahu. In this episode, you're going to see where we begin to get into Ball of Confusion. In the next part coming up, this is when the Hebrew Israelite steps into the scene. And you will see that the Hebrew Israelite and Brother Larry will be banging on the information to set the record straight, family. Yo, what's going on, Professor Larry? Peace of Black Power, sign letter. Yo, man, I just interviewed Brother Sutek. Sutek went in. I want to hit you with the same three questions that I gave him. The first question I have for you, Professor Larry, is that I see you are not finished with the word nigga. What drives you so hard with the word nigga? Everybody using the word nigga. Everything is a nigga. Sonata, you see the video that you reposted today, right? Yes, yes. With those young people expressing their hatred and contempt for black people, right? Right. What they're actually doing, if you really listen to the first girl who yeah. speaks, right? What you'll hear her say is that she's not black, although she's dark-skinned. What she's actually saying is she's not black like blacks in America. Right. In other words, she's not a nigga. Now, I don't know why the people don't hear this. It, it, it's flabbergasting to me that time and time again, they themselves use this term in contempt of another brother. When they get mad at you, they right. call you a nigga. They curse you out and call you nigga. Right. So there's no way they're going to tell me that they're then using this term as a term of endearment. That is psychological warfare that they're falling victim to. The enemy has them believing that this is somehow positive. They have turned this thing into media acceptability. You can't say shit. You can't say fuck. You can't say fuck out of here on the radio, but you can say nigga, and they won't bleep it. That's because the FCC allows you to say nigga. You understand? But they don't allow you to say shit and fuck. Now, you ask me, saying shit doesn't offend anybody, but saying nigga does, and they are aware of it because they allow this to happen. It permeates the society because they need a permanent underclass in this society in order to make capitalism flourish the way that they want it to flourish. Now, identifiably, they have turned this thing on us. Historically, they have turned this thing on us. And when you look, the only way that you have this thing affecting every single black person in this country is if it was deliberately attacked by the enemy because there is no other thing that every single black person in this country agrees on but they all know nigger compliments of the white man wow. so I'm, I'm, I stay on nigger because nigger's not it's not the word son that I'm not concerned with the word the word is irrelevant I'm talking about the consciousness that produces the word, the, the mindset that allows you to, to say that to someone and then say it to your friends like it's something good to do. All right, well, Professor Larry, you first. How do it make you feel to see black people here in America cry over Gaddafi in Libya? Well, let me moderate or modulate my position, right? Because it may possibly be that they are the victims of misinformation or disinformation, right? Um, from 1987 to 19, from 1978 to 1987, there was a civil war raging in Chad, right? From 87, from 78 to 87, Gaddafi was involved in that civil war, right? On one side. On the other side, France and the United States was involved, right? So actually, France and the United States were fighting Gaddafi. They were just using Chadian troops to do it. You understand? Gaddafi was providing 
weapons and support to one side, and France and the United States were providing weapons and support to the other side. However, however, it's not as simple as, oh, Gaddafi was fighting against America, yeah, that's, right. that's a good thing. That's right. It's not that simple right. because, because the Civil War in Chad terminated when the two Chadian sides joined forces and chased Gaddafi and the Libyans out of the north of Chad. So it's not that simple. You understand? And Sanada. Clear up, brother. So now, black folks take everybody to be their friends. I have to quote the late great Dr. John Henry Clark. I say. John Henry Clark said, we have no friends. Every other ethnicity has been trained to take advantage of the African, the black man. Everywhere you find us, they're taking advantage of us. For African Americans or Africans in the diaspora in America to be crying over Gaddafi is more Negro shit. Because Gaddafi is not crying over the African that's here lost in the wilderness of North America. So why should we be concerned with what's happening with Libya when we're not taking care of what's happening right here in the, in the ghettos of North America? Okay, um, let that brother get it. It's true, you know what? I, I may concur, I concur, I concur with what you brother just said. But then I look at this way. What is the devil's agenda? Okay, the devil's agenda is to turn all people of color against one another and use him for his own gain. You you agree with that? No. You don't agree with that? No. Okay, my brother. The okay. reason and no, I have wait. to leave. No, no, I, no, I, no, brother. I, I got know. to go. Time no, out. brother. I got Let to go. Let him answer why he does agree. No, no, well, no, listen. No, okay, now, you say it, then I got now, to go. Now, if, okay. if, if, I'm not gonna now listen, you're not gonna what? Okay. You're not gonna brother, have. Answer, you're not gonna have a different opinion than me. No, no, reply. First of, all, first, of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, I'm not getting upset, brother. First of all, first of all, right? I don't do devil. There's no devils. That's spookiness. That's no, not. No, no, no. That's that's that's. Devil is one who does evil. I didn't say nothing first about all, Casper the Friendly First of all, first of all, like evil, evil is that, spooky. No, okay. No, it ain't. Evil Listen is to this. Real, my no. Man. Let me nah, let me real, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this to you, right? Let me say this to you. With Outside of a religious context, outside of a religious context, there is no evil, Listen, there is no sin. What language there is are you speaking now? English, right? I speak English. Uh, okay, whose language is that? Is it's it yours? It's, 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 is it yours? I speak it, Is right? it your language? I speak it, right? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Is that your true language? Do I language? speak this language? Is, 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 My is true language? Right. Is what? Where are you from? No, don't ask, don't <laughs> no, answer, that, answer that question I'm first. I'm from Harlem. What, what's your true language, I'm from brother? Harlem. I'm, what I'm language from, do people speak in Harlem? I'm from the planet. That's where I'm from. I don't come from well, Harlem. Listen, let me say this. No let me say this. Let me say this. I don't say see, words. See, I don't. Yes, you did. No, I just you asked you what words. your language was. Listen, y'all just hear what it is. Nobody, listen, you couldn't him off. He ain't finished making his statement. He did. He did. He finished. What I meant by that, I'm not talking about no... I'm not talking about no spook or Casper the Friendly Ghost. When I said, when I said evil, I said, I meant evil is somebody that does negative stuff to people for their own personal gain. Well, I'm that's talking the about, I'm talking about English. English. We well, see we're using English. No. That's what my point, my brother. But I'm using that as a, as a as an analogy. What you give you the English definition. That's what you say. Hold on, brother, hold on. It's been great. Hey. All right, brother. Peace. 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 In the you English, what you say? Don't shake my hand, Peace. brother. Thank you. You saying you don't understand what you say? In the English vernacular, the word evil. Really, it's, it's, a, it's a spell word, one of those words that puts you in a spell in the context of religious, of religiosity. But the word evil is a word that is subtle because it suggests, it's, it's a word that sub subjugates women. Evil is two words put together. It's a word that subjugates women? What yes, and I'll break it down for you. Eve, because I become so damn spooky and That's pathetic, spooky, man. man. No, spooky, can, I, can I finish saying what I said? Damn. damn. Yeah. The word evil, the word evil is a word that keeps your mind into the subjugation of women, and I'll tell you why. When you listen to the Adam and Eve story in the Bible, Eve is the one who is supposedly made man do 
eat, or eat the apple. So the word evil means that Eve is ill. Tahuti, what the Eve fuck is, is you talking Ill. about, man? Okay, now, camera will be so now. that's okay. hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm let giving let you the finish. proper context, and every day on commercials they play it over and over and over. You see a woman seducing a man to buy something. That's why the word evil suggests that women seduce men or bring illness on the planet. Now, right? Yeah, that. Logic, logic is a thing that can be right and wrong. Logic can be correct and it can be an error and still remain logical. Because something is logical doesn't make it correct, right? Now, for us to be adults and play with words, take words and say, I don't understand, I overstand, I, that's just childish. What I'm saying is that at some point, at some point, we are going to have to be serious about the issues that we confront and the intent to affect those issues in a positive way to bring about a positive result. If you play with words, you're not trying to bring about a positive result. You're just playing with words to make shit sound good. Okay? Eve ill. No, Eve is not ill because that's <laughs> not that's just childish, right? Okay. What what the story in the Old Testament does is it makes the serpent the bad person that tricked Eve into tricking Adam. So Eve is not bad in the Bible. Eve is a victim in that story. No, sir. Now, now no, understanding, sir. understanding, understanding that people put their own interpretation on words in order to manipulate people into situations, especially religious people, because their agenda is to control that congregation in order to control the resources that is generated by that congregation so that they can live lovely okay. off of the backs of that congregation. Okay, okay, now, I'm not in disagreement about the religious context of words. What I am saying is hopefully, totally, and soulfully accurate. In the Bible... You said hopefully, totally? And soulfully, totally. Right. I have a way with my words. Don't take it out of context. When you listen to the story of Adam and Eve, Eve becomes the only one that is wrong. Because, because of Eve being tricked by the serpent, now man was made to work but you hold know on, hold on hold on man was made to labor and eve was supposed to feel the pain of birth but let me say this right quick birth. no i got to say this this man. is what the bible Brother, suggests and we when shouldn't you go, even be on this term about adam and no goddamn eve let me Fuck just all smash that let me just all smash i that. did was let's go give into you, some knowledge yeah. man let me, let all me smash i did that for you was give you we'll move on. no you know there's no need to smack yeah. Because no. you ain't did the research. No, let me smash that and then we'll right, move see on. Alright, let's see what you're gonna say. Right? First of all, first of all, right? And and then I'm gonna move away from this.